factor x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 2. Solution. In this case, we have four terms, so it's a good idea to factor by grouping. So here's how you do it. You look at the first two terms, and you factor out the greatest common factor. So in this case, that's x squared. And then so to write to figure out what goes here, you ask yourself, what do you multiply by x squared in order to get x cubed? Well, x. And then to figure out what goes here, you ask yourself, what do you multiply by x squared in order to get x squared? Well, simply 1. Then you look at these two terms. You want to factor out something that's going to leave you with x plus 1. So the obvious choice is negative 2. And that leaves us with x plus 1. So most people are okay up to here. It's the next step that seems to cause a lot of problems. At this point, we're going to factor out x plus 1. So we're actually going to pull this out. So I'll write it in the front, x plus 1, and then parentheses. And then again, you ask yourself, what do you multiply by x plus 1 in order to get x plus 1 times x squared? Well, just x squared. Likewise, what do you multiply by x plus 1 in order to get 2x plus 1 with a minus sign? Well, minus 2. And that is the final answer. You could take it a step further. Um, recall that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b. So you can work with x squared minus 2 by thinking of 2 as the square root of 2 squared. So this is really the square root of 2 squared. So our real final answer ends up being x plus 1 x minus the square root of 2, x plus the square root of 2. So that's another possibility. I hope this helps.